all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear please inform me if you have any difficulty you know there's a video came in in my way and it's made by the program it's called the d show now you know the d show i tried to call them many time and they hang up on me and they will never let me go and actually we have we have one of them recorded already uh, the d show they introduced to us a guy i think he is turkish and this turkish guy who is a muslim he became a muslim hmm interesting anyway i mean it's very nice to be a muslim who convert to islam like mimi hijab he says that there's a video that says why i choose islam i thought you are born of a muslim family <laughs> anyway and i thought you cannot leave islam because the prophet says the one who who, who leave his religion you know <clears throat> uh, give him some uh, nice head stuff so like uh, beheading supposedly so in the D show program, they asked this guy who is a Muslim, but he became a Muslim. Why, you know, why you became a Muslim? Suppose he looked like this guy, he was born from a Muslim family, but he is not too much convinced or something like this. So he said that the Quran, you know, the miracles of the Quran. And, you know, we will start with, with some of, actually, I will, I, will, I will cover all of them. Why with some? I mean, why, why some? Let us cover all of them. <clears throat> One of the things he said is the miracle about the Quran telling us about the title of the king of Egypt, the Pharaoh. And he said that before people do not know really what is the title of the of. Uh, of the king of the of uh, of uh, the Egypt, like uh, you know, like in the story of uh, Joseph, and the story of Abraham, the king is called king, and in the story of Moses, the king is called Pharaoh, and he said that this is, was not known in the time of the prophet. <clears throat> the funny that Muslims who make articles they lie to themselves. Because the title Pharaoh or Pharaoh uh, 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 or Pharaoh is exists long before that. Actually, according to historian, it exists almost four thousand years or three thousand years ago. So it was exist in the time of Abraham. But as long as they mention that, that will give us an opportunity to expose Muhammad and get him busted. So if we go to the story of Pharaoh. In the Quran, <clears throat> let us type Pharaoh. So we can get all the verses of Pharaoh in the Quran. Pharaoh or the Pharaoh. All right. As you see here, the Quran mentioned, I don't know why it's coming in different languages. Let us see. Let us change the setup of this funny thing, funny website. Why I see different language? I don't want those languages. How we can change? Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Well, none of those language. I mean, how we can fix this? Hold on. there is a way to fix it give me a second because we want to show arabic english i mean there's um, pharisee and etc which we don't really we are not looking for now <clears throat> okay the noble quran the funny the muslim they translated they say the holy quran even the quran uh, even the Muslim, they don't say, they don't call it Noble Quran. But let us see where we can fix this issue. I don't see anywhere. Look like we have to survive with it. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I see. Well, look like... I don't know if, uh, if somebody have an idea how to fix this website. Uh, let us see Quran English 
Okay. Um, maybe if we open the site in different way, we'll come in different. Okay, let us try now. For own. I don't know. Those things is appearing anyway. <clears throat> it's all right. No problem. Let us do it. What we can do. You see, in the front of us, we, we search, we just search for the word Pharaoh. And this is the word Pharaoh in the front of us in the Quran. As we see. This is Pharaoh. And this name appear many times in the Quran. In many chapters. But there is something the Muslims, they cannot explain. Which is proven to us that Muhammad is again is an ignorant. As an example, you see here it says, وَضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِمْرَأَةَ فَرَعَوْنَ Allah, he gave an example for those who believe the wife of Pharaoh, which is going to be the wife of Muhammad later. Okay, wife of Pharaoh, but Pharaoh, who is Pharaoh? You see, when you say the wife of uh, Muhammad, obviously Muhammad is a person, his name is Muhammad. Imra'ata Fara'aun. So Muhammad, he thinks Fara'aun is the name. How we can prove that, that Fara'aun is the name, is not a title of a king. This is his name, this, this, this person, his name is Fara'aun. How we can prove this mistake in, in the Quran? It's very easy. If we go back in the top, in the search engine, and we type the word Al, Al, just Al. And right away we see like Al Imran, Al Imran. What Al Imran? What does that mean? Al Imran? Who is this Imran? And who Al Imran? So if we go down here, I mean, this website is messed up. Look, we are stuck with the. <laughs> How we can take off this thing? Okay, we did search for the word. Why those things are still there? <laughs> okay, let's do it again, maybe. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Finally. All right. Guys, listen carefully with me. You don't know Arabic, but I will teach you. You see, the good thing, I, this is why I chose this website. It highlights for me the word which I'm talking about. You see, Al Musa, Al Musa. Al Musa. What the word Al mean? The family. Of Moses, do you see it? The family of Moses. Wa alu Harun, the family of Aaron. So what al mean? What we understand from this? Al mean family. All right. Okay. Did the Quran consider? <laughs> You see here, Moses is the name of a person, right? Is that a title, correct? Moses is the name of a person. This is Moses. This is Aaron. Those are people. They are. They have a name. So we put Al before before a singular name of a person, not a title. So family of Moses, like you know, in in the Middle East, we say like Alu, etc. You know. Uh, the family, uh, uh, you know, of a shamari, al shamari, a shamari simply uh, is a, you know, is a is a family name. You know, so they are a family. They are, you know, they are a group of people. They are a family. So here you see the word al before the name, the singular name. If we go to the different verse, we will see al Dawood. al Dawood. This you see the good thing about this website. I don't know if you can read, guys. Is is the text clear? Let me zoom more. Because this is the whole point here is to make you see what I'm talking about. This is the word al. You see when I move the mouse in the top of it, it show you the translation. This is why I wanted this website. Al Dawood. Dawood mean David. Al Dawood. So Al always come before. A name of a person, not a title. Are we getting it? If there is anyone 
Guys, is my voice good? Is my voice good? Tell those who don't see the voice, uh, I mean, they don't hear it, to refresh, please, if I'm, you know, because I'm not looking at, at, that, at that chat. Uh, oh, like I see uh, uh, YouTube uh, donation is active. You know, this YouTube keep playing games with me. Sometimes they take it off, sometimes they stop it, sometimes they bring it. You know, okay, anyway, thank you guys for the donation. God a plus. So here you see Al Dawood, family of Dawood. Are we clear in that? So what we learn from this, that always this word Al will come before A singular name, a name of a person, Alu Yaqub, the family of Jacob. Do you see it? The family of Jacob. Jacob. So the second we see Al, that is before a name of a singular person, not a title. That's wonderful. Now, Al <laughs> Fir'aun. Are you getting the point now? Anyone notice what is the mistake? Did you notice the mistake? Who noticed the mistake? What, what is the mistake here? Al is added before the name of the person. Al, this is different between from the Al, which the one you see like before Allah or, you know, this is different. This is Al by itself. You see, this is not connected. This is why it's separated. You see, this is different, diff different word, not the same as a l before Allah. No, this is different. So Alu Faraon Muhammad, obviously, in the Quran, consider Faraon as a name of a singular person. His name is Faraon. So the reason Muhammad he mentioned the name of Pharaoh in the story of Moses is because the ignorant Muhammad he think that Pharaoh is the name of this king. He do not know that this is a title. This is why he says Al Pharaoh, the same as he say Al Yaqub, family of Jacob. The same he say Al Dawood, the family of David. The same he say, Alu Musa, Alu Harun. The same he say, Alu Imran, Alu Lut, Lut. You see it, Alu Lut. فلما جاء آل آل لوط المرسلون. So when the family of Lut, so always Al this Al is. A word mean the family who belong to this person and this person is a singular name the same here Al Lut chapter 27 verse number 56 Al Faraon chapter 40 verse number 46 Al Yaqub Alu Ali or Ali, this is Tashkil Ali or Alu Yaquba, the family of Jacob Ala Ala Pharaona, the family of Pharaon Ali. Pharaona, the family of Pharaoh again. <laughs> I mean, isn't it amazing? And then here we repeat again. Wonderful. Lut. This is Lut. You know, so as you see, the Quran keep repeating Ali Pharaoh, Ali Pharaoh, which is supposedly the family of Pharaoh, because Muhammad he think Pharaoh is a person. This is his name. You don't know that this is the king title. 
If you go in the Bible, you will see the name of that king, which is called the Pharaoh. But here we cannot find nowhere where Muhammad he mentioned that because simply he's, he think that the Pharaoh is uh, the name. The same we see when we speak about Ali Imran. You see, uh, who, if you if you go if you go in the Quran, who is Imran? Muhammad mistakenly he think Imran the mother of Mary, Mary Maryam is the same one the father of Moses. Wa'ala Imrana. Ali Imrana, the family of Imran. Who is Ali Imran? Imran is the father of Mary Maryam, the mother of Jesus, the family of Imran. Thank you very much. Who else? Wa ala Ibrahim. Wa ala Ibrahim. Wonderful. The family of Ibrahim. So the word al always come before a singular name. So al Pharaoh, Muhammad, he think Pharaoh is a name of a person. This is how silly the founder and the man who made the Quran. Do you see it? So the first one we get it busted. Now we go to the second one. This guy he said, and now we do not need this website. <clears throat> he said that he discovered that the Quran speak about the stages of the uh, embryo. I like the stages of the embryo in the Quran. Actually, they are wonderful. Let us see how that works. Thank you guys for those who they are saying nice words to me and those who give donation. God bless you. I'm, I'm not watching the screen, so Merry Christmas and God bless. Thank you. The stages of the embryo. Is really the Quran speak about the stage of the embryo? Yes, the Quran speak about that. But it is a disaster. Let us see. What the Quran says about the stage of the embryo. You see, those Muslims, they make too much fabricated cartoon. I call it cartoon because it's a comedy. Like Shabir Ali, he speak about the miracle of number 19. But the coward, he don't dare to call me or let me even speak to him and say, hey, can you please do this miracle 19 in front of me so we can laugh together? They don't dare. So Allah, he spoke about the stages of the embryo. Let us laugh at those stages. <clears throat> Every Muslim translation give you different translation because the Quran is kind of a fantasy. Every Muslim try to make a new book of it by his own translation. Chapter 23, verse number 14. And we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. I mean, this is the stage of the embryo which is making the Quran an amazing book for you. Now, who is the mad person who want to believe that embryo contain the followers the following stages sperm then the sperm will became a clot of a congealed blood anyone any muslim here he is listening he agree that the sperm transform into a congealed dead blood congealed blood is a dead blood you can just search just search you know uh, congealed blood and you will see it's a dead blood actually this is what causes heart attack to people because what heart attack happened that a congealed blood go in your vein and stop the flow the, 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 the flow of the blood in your in your you know to your heart so you have you have a heart attack so Muhammad is claiming that your creation start as this sperm and then the sperm transform into a clot of a congealed blood but this is very stupid because there is no way a sperm will be first of all a sperm will not transform to anything sperm go inside the women uh, egg and transform trans or sorry uh, 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 activate activate uh, uh, the egg and transfer the dna there, he is carrying a message of dna from the male and the dna of the women which is in the egg together they will form the new baby 
and the one will grow is only the egg of the women only right <clears throat> the Quran saying the opposite and then the sperm after transform into a congealed dead blood then that sperm will became a lump how in the how in the world you say that go and read all the scholars of science not Christians not Muslims not Hindus not Buddhas scientists atheist scientists and you will see this is not true then we made out of the lump bones and clothed the bones with 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 the flesh so according to Muhammad in a certain time you are just bones and he became you he cover you Muhammad here is trying to to copy uh, uh, like a meditation from the Old Testament but he's he he always as a, as usual he steals something he adds things to it and he he, he destroy it so where is the stage of the Quran? And you know what? The best way, the best way to understand what Muhammad trying to say to us is what is to ask Muhammad himself, right? Who is the one who understand what the Quran mean better than Muhammad? Christian prince? No way. He is not a prophet. Maybe some see. Or maybe Zakir Naik is a doctor. If we call Zakir Naik now to explain to us that he he will give us an answer. I think he will <clears throat> he will give. Because Zakir Naik will not answer unless it's three ring. I know him. Christian Prince, I told you to call me, uh, brother Zakir Naik. I have a question, and you are a doctor, and nobody here he understands science like you. You are right about that point. Okay, what is the question? Uh, uh, how the Quran says that the sperm transform into a congealed dead blood. Christian Prince, you always ask me a stupid question, and always you woke me up from the middle of the night. The Quran is given us a miracle which is not discovered yet. Ah, so he is saying the sperm is a congealed blood. This is not discovered yet. Exactly. And scientists, until now, they are ignorant. And the Quran is correct. Okay, but uh, don't you think that it is too much far from what is real that a sperm became a congealed blood? Exactly, you are stupid. First of all, the Quran did not say what you are saying. The Quran saying nutfa. Uh, what nutfa? Nutfa means a lot, a lot of sperm. Also, a lot of sperm became a baby. Exactly. So, like you, when you wear a sperm, uh, you wear like a, a million. Uh, uh, sperm and you became a baby exactly as an example the first one million they will make my arm the second million they will make my arm and the third million they will make my leg and the third million they will make my teeth i don't really this is too much exactly because this is too much information for someone who's so stupid like you and don't call me again okay thank you zakir naik what is the science of the quran not far is not one semen not far is a drop is a drop of semen so the Quran is saying I made you from a drop of semen when the fact <laughs> the drop of semen is not what the human being coming from because all what the women she need I mean the woman egg is one there's one only one one cell is going to fertilize the egg not the drop this is the first mistake the second mistake is not a congealed blood the third mistake there's no lump and then nothing will become a bones and then after that at the end we close the bones with the flesh now let us go and see what Muhammad how he explained the Quran because I believe at the end of the day the author of the Quran have the right to explain it I will use the word nutfa, which means I will find the hadith saying the same word used in the Quran. Let us do that. The Prophet, the Messenger of Allah, and the truth, the truthful, I mean, for sure he is a truthful. <laughs> He 
Can we deny that? We cannot deny that. The messenger of Allah, the truthful, the receiver of the truth, receiver of the truth, but come on. The creation of the human is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. I'm, I'm really astonished. I'm not going to convert to Islam immediately. This is the stages of the Quran explained by the Prophet Muhammad that you are in your mother womb for 40 days as semen. Do you see it? But according to science, semen can live maximum of five days. Maximum. Max. <laughs> you know, so he, Muhammad, he received the truth. He is the truth teller. And now Muhammad explaining the stages of the Quran. And then became a clinging, became a alaqa, not a clinging, this false translation, became a alaqa, as the other one says, to congee the blood. For similar period, so you are, after you wear a semen for 40 days, now you are a, a dead blood for 40 days. So the total is now what? 80. And then became a lump of a flesh for 40 days. And then Allah, he sent an angel and who breathed life into, so all this time he have no life. So we can do abortion, 120 days, 40 plus 40 plus 40. And the angel command to record things about it, provision his life because the Muslim, they believe in destiny, as you know. So where is the stages of the Quran? And maybe, maybe you, Muhammadan, you will say to me, the prophet, he get it wrong. He don't understand the Quran. Maybe Zakir Naik, he understand the Quran better. Any Muslim have a comment? So if this is wrong, obviously Muhammad is a false prophet. The same as the Pharaoh is wrong, he thinks Pharaoh is the name of a person. Do we have any Muslim in the chat who you know, have, a, have a comment about this? Any Muslim? Yeah, and by the way, the Muslims believe that a, hu a human being can uh, can uh, like a, a woman she can carry her baby for many years some muslim they believe up to 10 years the messenger of allah said verily the creation of each one of you brought together in the mother in his mother womb in the form of a semen you see here the word semen is taken off not far you see i said to you before drop it's a drop, it's not it's not a semen, one semen. It's millions. Drop. So you are this is what the human being is made of, from a drop of semen? Not from semen. And then he become a alaqa, the clot of a blood for the like period. And mudra for the same similar period. So all the total of a human being to be created is 120 days. So why we stay inside our mother for nine months? Having fun, vacation? If the total is 120 days, 40 plus 40 plus 40. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? He is saying he don't agree. Yeah, my friend David, we will go to that part one by one because in this video he spoke about many things. But let's get get uh, get this uh, miracle busted. So the fabrication of the stages of the Quran for the embryo is nothing but a, fa a false fabrication. In fact, it's a, it's a it is a false teaching proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Actually, Muhammad he is very good in 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 uh, biology. Uh, as an example. <clears throat> Uh, Muhammad he said how the baby I mean how you how you want your son to look like you and he will be a boy what do you do you have to have orgasm first according to the Prophet read with me carefully the messenger of Allah said the man of the water is thick and white and the women water is yellow and which Ever of them comes first, that child will resemble the parents. 
So guys, maybe at the time when your dad and your mommy, they went like uh, stuff in the bedroom, maybe you were not there. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe you were there. But now we know which one of our parents he comes first. So if you are a boy, obviously it is your dad who have orgasm first. If you are a girl, obviously it's your mommy. So now we know the prophet, he said, this is science. This is a pure science of biology. How the prophet he knew this? Unless he is a prophet of God. It's impossible for a human being to know this. This is from God, my friend. And this is why if I get married, I will never have orgasm first because I don't want my son to look like me. That's scary. I mean, that's yuck. Once I went in the elevator, have a lot of mirrors, I, I jump outside, I get scared. So now, brother and sisters, if you don't want like your baby to look like you, you know the solution. Never come first. I mean, this is deep science. This is a lot of science. Somebody saying, please, the hadith. My friend, it's very easy to find the hadith I show you in the, in the, in the screen, especially if it's in English. You can just type those words in the website, sunnah.com. Like, let us say, highlight a few words and type them exactly in the screen, in the website, and you will find the, 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 the hadith. All right. So how Muhammad, he says such a thing. Hmm? And notice here with me, Muhammad, he considered that the water of the women is the is a yellow water. He think this is a sperm. Do you see it? Because what this have to do with the, with the baby, how the baby will look like. <laughs> This is the water you see in the women private part when you know it's like a sexual lotion this is have nothing to do with the this is not a sperm women don't have a sperm however my friend in the quran women they have a sperm you like it you don't it's true if you go in the quran in chapter 86 it says min bayni sulbi wa taraib A taraib in the Arabic language is the bones, the upper bones of the chest of the women, the, exactly the location of the necklace. So the Quran teach in chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, that there is emitted a fluid. Hmm? This is here, uh, it's gushing fluid. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. The, some Muhammadan, they try to like to give you false answer. They say, oh, he is talking about the human body, like a human, a man, his, uh, his sperm is coming from here to here. My friend, if this is from the backbone all the way to the ribs, I mean, what is left? I'm thankful that Allah did not say, does that include my arms? The verse, it does not say that, they lie. The verse saying that the backbone of the man where the sperm of the man is coming and the ribs of the women where is the sperm of the women is coming and the backbone of the man is the backbone. You know what the backbone is? It's not like beside the back. It's not the waist. No, it is the backbone. It is the last bone in the spine. That is the backbone. Right? <clears throat> uh Uh, Islam is peace saying, uh, Christian Prince, you are wasting a uh, time uh, job. Look, those uh, Latinos convert. My friend, okay, Latinos convert to Islam. They see my video, they will leave Islam. No problem. Don't worry. We have Arab leaving Islam after watching my videos. But Latino, don't worry about it. They will leave Islam. They li you lie to them for a week, two weeks. There is a conference led by the Muslims. The, 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 the title of the conference, why? Uh, converter they leave Islam in the max of three years because you lie to them they convert to Islam after a while they find that this is not true and they leave and then they expose you more so those they will be later warriors to expose Islam I'm not worried about them I will be happy to see them soon learning more about Islam and they get Islam busted and then their name will be ex-Muslims and that will be more harmful har harmful like do you know the guy his name Ishmael 
Anyone knows Ishmael? Let me find you Ishmael. Ishmael or Ishmael. Me myself, I made many videos to get him busted. Me myself, and they are in the internet until now. For more than 16 years, this person promoting Islam. Let me find his YouTube. I made many videos when he was a Muslim getting him busted. 16 years. And he is driving the Muslims crazy now. Why? Because he's a Muslim. He, he was a Muslim and he studied Arabic and now he is getting this Mohammedan cult busted. And all of them, they want to refute him now, but nobody, how he can refute? Look how many videos against him. So those who convert to Islam today, they leave Islam tomorrow and they expose Islam better, which is going to be really very painful for Islam. Very painful. Because he got all your secrets. And the proof is exist in the front of us every day. Muslims are who they are Arab. They call me after five, ten minutes, even one hour. They leave Islam. They call me to refute me to get it busted, and then they leave Islam. So I'm not worried about those. And don't worry about. You see, okay, if somebody convert to Islam, let us see how long he will stay there. Now we go back to our topic, and what does have to do with our topic? Study your prophet is a, is a, is a is a is a liar. No matter what you say, let's say everybody convert to Islam, but they are fooled. Sooner or later, they will find the truth, and the truth will set them free. But can you refute us? And can you tell us how a prophet of God? He claimed that God is teaching him, God giving him information. He claimed that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. And the women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. How this is can be from God? This is the question. This is the book of Ibn Kathir in the front of us, and I'm reading it for you what the Muslims believe, not me. This is not my interpretation for the verse because somebody will say, Oh, this is his false interpretation. You know, this here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. And Ibn Kathir, by the way, is a big fat liar. The interpretation of Ibn Kathir is made at that time. To refute the Christians, which mean this book is made for to lie, is made the, the purpose of it is to defend Islam against the Christians who were dying laughing at the Quran. And he created you from water gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid. So it is what? It's a sexual fluid. Comes out bursting forth from the man and the women. So you are created from what? From a water coming out from a water? From a what? From a water. They say it again. Water. They are slow. Water. Let me sing it. Water, water. How are you? Everyone, he, he need you. The women, she have water too. Not only you. Not only you. Here we go. We meet Quran. So it is a water coming from the man and the women will create the baby. Can you tell me what is that water will come from the woman will make a baby? Who is a Muhammadan can tell us what is the water which is coming from the man and the women will make the baby? Is the egg of the women is a water? Is it? Are you sure, brother? Now let us read more. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone, not, the, not loins, no, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. which is referring to her chest and i was wondering why women they have a breast it turned to be those are testicles according to your holy book those are testicles
Any Muslim have an answer? And this is why I'm still single. I'm not going to get married and go to the bedroom and then she take off her clothes and what I see? Auzubillah, scary, what is this? Brother and sister, women they don't have breath. Women they have a breath difficult. This is what the Quran is saying to me. How this is can be from God? This is the science of Allah, and the one is talking is Allah. This is not the guy who is a you know the taxi driver who do not know what he's talking about. This is not the plumber. This is God. So you are amazed about the Quran miracles? That's a lot of miracles. And actually I warn men, you know, you have no idea what you are getting into when you get married. Stay away from them. Hmm? Allah Almighty can do everything. No, He cannot do everything. The Quran says how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend, which means Allah cannot have a son unless He have a girlfriend. So don't tell me Allah can do everything. Can Allah be a man? You say no. <laughs> All right. So when they speak about that the Quran is speaking about the stages of the embryo, it's a joke. The Quran is a joke book. What is the other thing he said in the video? Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> you see, I, I wrote them with my hand in this paper, but I cannot read my, my, read my hand there writing. Hold on. I need a light. I don't have light here. I have a very, like, I don't like strong light. My room is almost dark because I look too much at the computer, so it hurt. <sighs> what he said again? Ah, he he found the Quran speaking about the orbit of the planets, the orbit of the sun, and the orbit of the earth. <laughs> That's a good comedy. I love it. Are you sure that you found the Quran speaking about the orbit of the sun? Well, yeah, I'm sure the Quran yeah, speak about the orbit of the sun, brother. Let us see how the Quran speak about the sun orbit and other orbit. Let us go here. <clears throat> Chapter 36, verse number 38. Guys, is my voice clear? Is it coming clear? There's, do anyone have difficulty? Do we have any noise in the background? Yeah, reduce the brightness of it still because I'm sitting long time. You know, you have no idea how long I stay, you know. But anyway, God is good. وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرٍ لَهَا Okay, what does that mean? And the sun runs into a resting place. Okay. Chapter 36. Chapter, sorry, 36, verse number 38. And the sun runs into, runs his, his course. His? The sun is his now? Okay. Well, this is the Muslim translation. I thought my English is bad. So the sun runs his course for a period determining for him. And the translation of who this one? Change the translator. Let's see. This translation is weird. This is Yusuf Ali. Uh, let us see. Uh, Hilali and Khan. And the, run, the sun runs on its fixed uh, course for a term appointed. Hmm. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, who is going to explain this verse for us better than the Prophet Muhammad himself? What do you think, guys? Shall we ask Prophet Muhammad how to explain this verse? 
I think the best to explain it is Muhammad. Not a Christian prince. Christian prince do not even know how to read Arabic. This no Muslim says, you know, you don't know, you know, this Christian prince does it. Hmm? Let us ask Prophet Muhammad what this verse means. So we go here and we find Muhammad saying the following. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, so the Muhammadan cannot say it is weak, it is fat, it is skinny. Hmm? Let's see together. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. La 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 La, 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 la. I'm so excited, man. I mean, this is so good. Look, the prophet is going to teach us science about where the sun goes. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So Abu Dhar, he says, the prophet said to him, to Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know the best. He said to me, it, it goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. If 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 this is the orbit of the sun, and this is the sun going to its resting place, and this is the sunset time. Muhammad explaining to us where the sun goes. I mean, do you? This is really scary. Where the sun goes every day, huh? Ah, let us talk the pink panther tadam 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 i hope uh, 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 youtube will not take my video now for copyright for tadam tadam i mean what is this man so you found that the prophet he knew the orbits and the quran containing science about the orbit may allah orbit you <clears throat> every day and look Muhammad he don't stop there the funny about Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut he have to he have to he have to add some words and that is Allah's statement the Sun runs in it's a fixed course for a term and a degree chapter 36 verse number 38 nice to meet you so now you cannot say to me that verse does not mean that this is your prophet Mr. Muhammad explaining to us where the sun goes. No, I cannot go Zach and Naik because Zach and Naik now he's so angry from me. And he's busy now in Malaysia. They have they have a meeting for the conference of the Islamic countries and they want to make a golden coin. <laughs> a golden coin. <laughs> So according to Muhammad, the sun every day goes from the east to the west and go under the throne of Allah. And where is the throne of Allah? Anyone knows where is the throne of Allah? Who remember? Anyone remember? Who remember? Where is the throne of Allah is located? Somebody help me, come on. Who is a Muslim want to help us? Where is the throne of Allah located? Because now we need to find out where the sun going. Because the sun is going under the throne of Allah. But where is the throne of Allah? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Hmm? above the water thank you Peter the throne of Allah is above the water and this is explained why the Quran says that the Sun set in a murky water which is true by the brother 
It's true. This is scientifically accurate, brother. The sun set really in murky water. I saw it once, many, actually many times. When the Muslims explain this verse, they say to you, oh, this is how it appeared to the to the Zulqarnain, the guy with the two horn. I mean, have you ever heard of a guy, his name is the guy with the two horn? Why, he's a cow? Meh! And this is not a cow. This is a sheep. <laughs> or, no, this is not a cow. What's wrong with you? Brother Tittar, the computer of a Christian prince, admit up, he cannot even recognize the voice of the cow from the birth of a dog. <laughs> okay, brother. Till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a muddy spring. Aha! Is that true? Zachary Nayak will say to you, Christian Prince, he claimed that the Quran said that the sun sat in murky water. In fact, the Quran didn't say that. This is from the point of view of the Quran. What? From the point of view of the Quran. He is the one he thinks is sat in murky water. Now, how we can get Zachary Nayak busted? Ah, here we go. We go again to Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, as I told you, he cannot keep his mouth shut. I like him. He cannot keep his mouth shut. So we go and we find that Muhammad explained that this verse and he get every liar busted when they try to defend the Quran. Here we go. This is a prophet Muhammad saying. Narrated by Abu Dhar. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey. While the sun was setting, he asked, Do you know? Do you know? Do you? Do you know? I mean, the second Muhammad, he said, Do you know? It means there's a disaster will come after. Muhammad, he loved to show off. So you see, when, the, when somebody is a fool, he, he tried to make people ask him questions because he's a fool. He want to show off that he knew. Do you know? So you ask him and you say, Oh, Allah and his messenger knows best. He, he love it. The second you say Allah and his messenger, you know, he feel like he's like, yes, yes, that's me. And now I will tell you. He said, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. Muhammad now, it is the time for the joy. He said, it's set in a spring of boiling water, not warm water, Hamia. That's amazing. That's discovery. And this is the reference for the Hadith. And you will find a million Muslim when I get a Christian prince busted. Christian prince lying. This is not what the, the Allah is saying. This is how it appear in the eyes of Zulkarnain. The Quran doesn't say it appear in the eyes of the Quran. Show me. Silence me. Can't Allah say it appear in his eyes like this? And if it's appear in his eyes, why Allah saying that? Why Allah saying he found it? Do you know what found it mean? It's mean it's a, it's a find. It's a fact. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Any Muhammad have a comment? Hello, it's me you're looking for. You will find me in the water. What the heck is this religion? It's full of science. And how you can deny the science of Allah. Hello, this is a lot of science. I mean, Allah is a dripping science. When Allah, you walk in the street, nothing you see from behind him unless it's like except science dripping science whatever allah and the prophet they walk there's science drip in the floor mm. 
Any Muhammadan have anything to say? <clears throat> I wish one day I can be a scientist like the Prophet. I mean, this guy, he have a lot of science. Hmm. Any comment from any Muhammadan? Hmm? So what they have in their videos is nothing but a, but a false fraud. It's a lie and they try to deceive you because you have no knowledge. You see, all of us, we are ignorant in something. Like me, you know, I mean, every one of us is ignorant in some, I mean, not in something, in almost in everything. I mean, you can be really so good in one thing, maybe, but for sure you will be ignorant in many other things, right? And the Muhammadan, they, they make a bet on you that you are ignorant so they can fool you. That's why this guy, he said Latino convert into Islam. You say he's called Latino? Poor Latino, they fool them sooner or later they will meet my videos and I have my my books in Spanish already out and soon my Portuguese book is out too we have one Portuguese book I think out and you know what my videos are translated to the most and the biggest Islamic country in the world Indonesia and actually, that's why I made this program now at this time at night, because for me, it's late. But for me, I love to service my brothers and sisters in Indonesia. I love them. This is a time, actually, I'm not coming in this time because I'm not expecting people to be really live on air. It's Saturday night, you know, unless they are from Indonesia or from Philippines or Thailand or India. Right? So we are here and we are making a revolution, peaceful one. Indonesian, you know, I cannot believe it how my videos are in every, every, there's not, not a single Indonesian do not know about Christian press right now. And all those who call themselves Ustad, which means teacher, master, they are hiding. Right? They are hiding. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Those Muslim in Indonesia is not Muslim, not a true Muslim. They are fake Muslims. <laughs> you know, Islam is peace. I don't know. I think I think I think I should hire you for a comedy stand alone. So the biggest Islamic country in the world, Indonesia, is a fake Muslims? So who is left? Who is left? <laughs> <coughs> the biggest Islamic country, excuse me. <coughs> the biggest Islamic country in the world <coughs> is not a Muslim country. So who is the Muslims? Anyone can tell me? Hmm? Who are they, the Muslims then? Any Muhammadan have anything to say?
You know, it's astonishing when you see the videos in Indonesia. They like uh, some videos almost like there is a, there, are, there are a million people saw it already. You know, like uh, it's a normal number to see like 700,000, 500,000. I mean, it is really astonishing. And I love it. And you know, I, I don't uh, keep my videos in my page. I don't keep them in my page, right? But because Indonesian Muslims are hungry to, for the truth. And this is why you see a huge number of people watching my videos. Not only Christian Indonesian, they are hungry to know the truth, the Muslim themselves. And that what make it really good very beautiful five hundred thousand six hundred thousand eight hundred thousand i mean you name it do we have any muhammadan he have any complaint <clears throat> Anyone? We go to zero. Now we finish, we answer them about this, what they claim about the Quran and the science here in this topic. Anyone have a question for me? Uh, there is there is somebody he asked me a question before I finish my I, I, like I in the last second I said uh, God bless you guys and somebody posted in the chat saying well the Muslim they say that the Arabic Bible have the word Allah how you answer that Christian prince my friend the Arabic Bible is a translation Bible which means the translator he put the word Allah the same as the word Jesus is not exist in the Quran. If we search right now the name of the Messiah in the Quran, in Arabic we call the Messiah Yeshua. If I search for Yeshua, I will not find him. If I search for Yeshua as the Hebrew, I will not find it. What I will find, I will find the Isa. Isa. All right. So when you see the Muslims, they have the word Jesus. You should know that this is not exist this is a translation and which mean it's a false so if the arabic translation of the bible using the word allah that because those poor arab christian they live between the muslims and even after using the word allah still they are killing them so imagine if they don't so you can say they've been forced to do such a thing but for us the bible is the original not the arabic translation this is the translation you see, when you say in the in your in, in English, we say Jesus. This is this is this name is not really accurate, because in the Latin they could not make it. They don't have enough letters to make uh, Yeshua. You know, to make the there's many words you cannot say the sound like when you say Jacob. There's nothing called Jacob, but this is how you can pronounce it in your tongue because you don't have equal letters to the Hebrew, so you have. To transform the name to something you can pronounce, like when the Muslim they say Muhammad, is that there's is there something called Muhammad? There's no Muhammad. I will type the word Muhammad here. Okay, translation. It says Muhammad. Muhammad. There's nothing it's called Muhammad. So when they translate, they have to switch the letters to something it can be close to the original. So Muhammad because became Muhammad, but Muhammad really is a bad word. It's like you know in Arabic, if you say to someone Muhammad, that would be funny. As if you are saying to to him like uh, the one who uh, uh, been harassed or the one who been busted or the one you know, what Muhammad? There's nothing called Muhammad. It is Muhammad. So this is a translation 
to make it sound closing or close. However, if we go in the Hebrew Bible, we will not find Allah. If we go in the Aramaic Bible, which is the original, uh, you know, we will not find Allah. If we go in the uh, uh, Greek Bible, we will not find Allah. So this is a fast translation. <clears throat> Did we give you an answer? It's not a correct translation. If there is any question I can answer. Anyone? And by the way, as long as we are talking about names, Muhammad, he have a problem with names. As an example, who is this guy? His name is Isa in the Quran. Where does Isa is coming from? Who is Isa? We do not know. You see, the Quran is like, <clears throat> I know a teacher, he was fixing the papers of his student. And then somebody opened the door of his apartment and he was sitting next to his window and his window like in the fifth, fifth, sixth floor, whatever floor. Then all the papers in the table, they flow with the wind outside. So imagine you are writing a book and somebody did that, opened the door and all the wind take their your papers and then you try to put them together, but there's no numbers for the pages. This is exactly the story of Muhammad. If we go in the Quran and we ask the Muslims, okay, the Quran say Israel. Who is Israel? Chapter 2, verse number 40. Oh, children of Israel, shouldn't you tell us first who is Israel? Who is a Muslim can show me where in the Quran it's introduced to us, Mr. Israel? Any Muhammadan can do that? Who is this guy, Israel? Have you ever heard of a person he don't introduce to us the name? If you go in the Bible, you will find how who is Israel and why he was called Israel and how the story of this person, Israel, in the Quran, suddenly we have a guy, his name is Israel. Where it's coming from? We have no idea. Any Muslim can tell us who, who, why he was called Israel and what Israel mean? It's a challenge to the Muslim to tell us who is Israel. Now I will tell you what they will do. They will say to you, Brother Editor, we are going to get the Christian bread buttered. If you go in the Bible, you will find who is Israel. What, what do you mean go in the Bible? I thought this is a book by itself. I thought the Quran is the preserved book of God, the perfect book. So now, in order for us to know who is Israel, we have to go to the Jews? This is not a book. This is yellow pages. In yellow pages, you find a guy. His name is Israel, and then the address. Here, actually, yellow pages is better. Here, there's no address, no introduction, nowhere it says who is he. It doesn't say whose first, whose last name. I mean, okay, Israel, Israel. Who is his father? Who is this guy, Israel? We don't know. And why he's important? We don't know. What he did? We don't know. Where is coming from? We don't know. Where he live? We don't know. So we can say that Muhammad, he earned a degree, a PhD, certified PhD in something called Allah knows best. No, we don't know. We don't know. Nobody know. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, da -da -dum, nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Nobody know, nobody know. This is a religion of nobody knows.
And look, how many Muslims are listening to us? Not even one, he can't tell us. Yeah, Allahu Alam. <laughs> you know, Allahu Alam in Islam is like saying I am a fool. <laughs> It's like you know to save your to save your bum from being kicked to say Allah knows best. That, 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 that's me. Like you know, that's it. I, this is my limit. I have no idea. So Allahu Alam, right? <laughs> Islam only believe in one God. A Christian believe in three gods. You know, Islam is a feast. You are you are funny. No Christian believe in one God. However, you know, just I will go with Islam is is uh, is a feast. Uh, 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 and I will, I will think about what he said, and I want people to think with me. Forget about him lying that we Christian believe in three gods. No, we believe in one God. However, let us say, okay, you believe in one God. So, but your God is a fool, as you see. The sun set in murky water. The sperm coming from the backbone. The women have a sperm coming from her ribs. <laughs> I advise you to ask Allah to have more gods. Maybe they can get with better answers. <laughs> Maybe his answers are silly because he's one. He need more, uh, <laughs> more God beside him. <laughs> so, you know, the, the Muhammad and they think by saying, okay, we believe in one God. Supposedly that will make him like he have a ticket, like he's higher than you. He knew he have one God, like one God. So what if it's one or ten, my friend? The question is, is he real or not? If somebody believe in a thousand God and you believe in one God, but his gods, they are smarter and they don't say foolishness like your God. So it is possible that his gods, the thousand God are real and your God is fool. So you have one, two, three, still you have one idiot God. <clears throat> are we listening? Yeah, here, so you see somebody saying to you about Al-Hudud. You remind me of Al-Hudud. Let me show you how Allah is truly God. I mean, this is a story will shake your head, man. Actually, my head is shaking already. I keep trying to balance it. Al-Hudud. Who is Al-Hudud? <laughs> Hudud? How are you doing, Hudud? Hadu, hadu, Scooby, Scooby, do. What is that? Prophet Suleiman, brother. He have a very amazing story in the Quran. Well, I cannot tell you the story like this. Sorry, I have to make some, I mean, some adjustment. We need adjustment. I mean, how we can just say a story like the story of uh, Suleiman and the bird. Hmm? We cannot do that. We have to make some adjustment. Let us see. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, sit down, sit down act differently once upon the time there was a messenger of Allah his name is Suleiman Suleiman is the son of David do you like this uh, way of action I think that you know, this is what make action movies, I mean, interesting because you have to make us like some uh, uh, effect, right? Uh, true? You will need effect, brother. Correct? That will make us more excited, brother, and more happy. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, la, 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 la. Okay. Prophet David 
He had a son, his name is Suleiman. And Prophet Suleiman, he have a son, his name is David. <laughs> Trust me, Muhammad did not know who is the father of whom. <laughs> And then, and Suleiman inherited the knowledge of David. He inherited the knowledge of David. You must be kidding me. How, how you inherit the knowledge? Me. You know what? I was born, I know how to do mechanic. Yeah, because uh, my, my dad, he was a mechanic. Uh, uh, he fixed cars. I'm just joking, he's not. So he inherited the knowledge and Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. This is true. Suleiman, he know the language of the birds. I don't know, each time we make a big lie, it starts raining heavily. The roof is leaking now because of the big lie. So Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. Okay. And then Allah, he gave Suleiman an army. And this army, brother, contain human and genie and birds. I mean, this is amazing. Suleiman, he have an army of genie and the human and birds that's so beautiful i like birds why there's no cats there don't you think cats would do better than the birds i mean when i say cats you can include lions tigers i mean what this birds were what this is about uh three forces right mankind genie invisible like a wax of america and birds they can fly and spy Aha, uh -huh, I got it. I never thought about it. And then when the Prophet Suleiman, he came to the Valley of the Ants. Valley of the Ants? Is that in the borders of United States of America? There's a valley where only ants, only ants live there. It's like a state of ants. My friend, I thought ants, you can be, they exist everywhere. I mean, have you ever seen a place in the world? They don't have ants? You live in the 36th of Florida, you have ants in, the, in, in, the, in Asia. The Valley of the Ants. What is that? So he arrived to the Valley of the Ants. One of the ants said, Oh, how the ant talk? Hold on, hold on. Muhammad here he is making really a uh, big fuss. I thought Muhammad, he said that Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. He did not say he taught him the language of the ants. And now the ant will talk and Suleiman, he understand. It's a miracle. So when he arrived to the value of the ants, one of the ants, what, what's happening here? Because you don't look like excited. You're not excited, are you? You know, I mean, I should maybe invite some kids here to be with us in this program. This is a perfect story for uh, kids. Right? I mean, you should be excited. I mean, this is an amazing story. Why we are not excited? So, when he arrived to the value of the ants, are you listening, children? <coughs> Wonderful. Now I feel you. One of the ants, she said, do you know what she said, be crazy kids? <coughs> okay, okay, I got you. She said to her followers, enter your dwelling unless Suleiman he crush you. Kids, 
Why you are so quiet? Are you scared? You are scared. I agree. Okay. You get the point, sister. And then Suleiman, he smiled, amused by her speech, and said, Oh, my Lord, be straight upon me. I don't know what he's saying here. I mean, kids, can you read and understand what he is saying there? <coughs> what a bunch of liars. Only Allah knows what he meant there. So, guys, when Suleiman, he saw that he heard the ant talking, by the way, forget about the sentence saying that the ant, they talk, but by vibration or chemical only. But the Quran says he heard her speech. S speech? Like, what? I remember once. Actually, not once, twice. Actually, not twice, thrice, thrice. Not thrice, fourth, five, I mean, many times. I was like walking down the street, la 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 and the ant amused me. I heard the ant, she's speaking to me, and I said, hello, hello, hello. She said, do you remember me? I said, no. Do I know you? She said, I am the ant from the neighborhood. I mean, the ant, she made a speech. And the Prophet Suleiman, he heard the ant and he was amused with her speech. Why? What happened here? This is a God who is making a story. This is God talking. This is the level of God. Or this is the level of somebody speaking to six years old kids. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. On all what I can see, a bunch of ants around me. She turned his head. I mean, this is so good, so beautiful. I'm going to cry. When I read the Quran, I cry. There's two things remind me of the, when I read the Quran. Remind me of onion and garlic. You hear somebody saying, when I read the when I hear the Quran, he don't understand the Quran, but he cry. Why? Because somebody have a beautiful voice singing the Quran. My friend, this guy who have a nice voice, even if he sing whatever song, is going to look nice. Don't cry. Obviously, you have a problem. It's not the Quran making you cry. It's your problem making you cry. You are lonely. There's no way this is God talking. This is a story for six years old children. And the story is not over yet. And then when Suleiman he heard her speech, he said to himself, unto Allah, my Lord bestow upon me the power of ability. Hold on, what do you mean? Allah, he taught you the language of the birds, not the language of the ants. So look what happened. Look like Allah, he installed the wrong ships in your head. Or he downloaded the wrong file. If Allah, he taught you the language of the birds, how you are understanding the language of the ants? Any Muhammadan have anything to say? So imagine I go to China and I learn to say like, Ching ho, he ho. And then I walk in in in, uh, in in Germany, and somebody says, "Oh, I don't know what does that mean." And suddenly I understand him. And what does it have to do with this? The language of the birds have nothing to do with the language of the ants. So how Allah He taught him the language of the birds, and then he understand the ants. I want to know. Do you think that uh, Solomon he was going to the wrong classroom? So Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. He told him, go and join the, gla like the glass room of the birds. But he went to the wrong classroom and he learned the language of the ants. What do you think? What do you say? <coughs> I 
how many people they will leave Islam after watching this video? What do you think, guys? How many people will leave Islam after watching this video? This is cannot be from God. And then the brothers. Allah, he gathered before Suleiman a host, an army of genie and man and birds. And actually, yes, this is true. I saw Harry Potter movie. Who of us can deny Harry Potter? I saw a cartoon where General Chicken, he was leading a brigade. And he challenged General Turkey. And he said to him, you draw first. The other one, he said, no, you draw first. And then the cowboy music play in the background. This is a story of God. This is God. Who is a Muslim? He is sure that the one here is talking is God. <clears throat> I don't know if we shall continue. Shall we continue or, or we stop here, guys? What do you think? Uh, and then Suleiman, he inspected the bird. Look at this guy. I mean, he is a king. But yeah, remember the birds are army. <laughs> Hello. Those army, they have surgeon, they have a colonel, they have a lieutenant, they have a major. Like, yes, sir, oh, sir. Do you hear me, soldier? Yes, sir, oh, sir. And then this bird, when he see the king, he, he sing, I'm proud to be an American. This is so good, man. So Prophet Solomon, he is a king, and now he is inspected, inspect, inspect, inspecting the army of the birds. And then he said, what is the matter? I see not the hope. If, 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 if. Kids, did you notice what is wrong here? <coughs> Do you see that now the king Solomon is upset? <coughs> and now Prophet Solomon, who is a king, he said, or he is among the absent. Oh boy. Oh boy. The drill surgeon, he did not find the Christian prince between the soldiers. Hmm. <clears throat> man, oh man. And then he said, I, I will surely. I will surely punish him with severe torment. And the MB is coming, the police, the, the, the army police. Or slaughter him. Oh boy, oh boy. This is what, where you go? Somebody called his birds, guys. This guy, he's going to lose his life. The king is upset. Where is the bird? What is that? What is this? This is Quran? This is the book of science? me that's a lot of wisdom Muhammad he dropped wisdom actually and by, by, by the way Muhammad he made this verse after they made a surgery for him anyone remember the surgery <laughs> After the surgery, in case you don't remember, Muhammad, he is the first one who had silicone surgery in history. An angel of Allah, he come with the basket, basket full of 
faith and wisdom. He cut the chest of the prophet and he stuffed his throat with dish of wisdom and dish of faith. Oof, 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 oof. So this funny story came after Muhammad, he got a dish of wisdom, and now he became smarter, supposedly. And Jibreel, guys, look at this. After they wash the, I don't know how to say this word. They laugh at me, laugh at me when I say it. Upon the men. <laughs> and then washed it with Zamzam water with his own hands till he cleansed in the inside of his body and then a golden tray containing a golden ball full of belief and wisdom was brought wow full of belief and wisdom and you poor people you go to school you want to earn a degree it's not a degree will make you knowledgeable it's not a school will teach you. It's a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. And then the dish of faith, dish of belief, even believe in the coming in dishes these days. I mean, technology. Technology, brother. Amazon was brought. And then Jibreel stuffed his chest and the throat of blood vessels. Wow. That's so good, man. That's so beautiful. He stuffed his throat and blood vessels with it. So now if we take some blood, if a mosquito, she did suck the blood of the prophet, she will die because of the knowledge and the faith. Because the mosquito is not sucking blood, it's sucking faith and knowledge. So this is will make the mosquito faithful mosquito. And that will make the mosquito an extreme wise mosquito and now I know why somebody says I cry when I read the Quran I cry too I cry too I wonder how I wonder why each time I read this book I feel like I want to die from laughing at it I cry I turn my head I mean, this is God, and this is this is a story for kids or for adult. Who in the world want to believe in such a story? My friends, my families, Islam made by an ignorant man in the time of ignorance in the Bedouin society, and I am an Arab. I feel sorry for my people, they are still ignorant. Many good people believe in this madness. They think this is true. This is how a human being sometimes is very poor. Because, you see, being poor is not about how much money you have, it's about how much brain is missing. It's about how somebody can fool you easy. This is what makes you poor. You are poor when you are a fool. You are poor when anyone can fool you and make fun of you. Those stories are making fun of us. If this is the story Muhammad said after the surgery, after installing wisdom in his chest, so how Muhammad, how fool he was before the surgery? Because remember, this is a story was taught after the surgery, not before. So this is Muhammad now after the surgery if muhammad after the surgery is an extreme fool so how he was before the surgery because this is a story must be taught by a fool correct like they make video on youtube before and after so this is muhammad after after muhammad he got a dish of wisdom in his chest 
Is telling this story, which is a foolish story. So how fool Muhammad was before the surgery. <coughs> I apologize, I'm coughing in front of the mic. I hope that will not bother you. I think I better go soon because this coughing is hurting. My throat is hurting, talking for long. So my family, we are happy to help the Muslims. We love them. We are not here to make fun of them. We are here to expose the liars who try to fool us. We love the Muslims and we want to help them. We want to save them. Islam obviously cannot be from the true God. This is a joke. Not only it's violence, not only it's teaching hate, not only it's not humane, it's not only it's not logical, nothing right about this cult, but it's full of fairy tale stories which even a fool, he cannot believe in it. So I want to say thank you for those who they are here. Thank you for those who support us. Thank you for everyone who made a donation. I know you do not need me to mention your name because this is not your purpose. Thank you for those who download the videos at subtitle. Thank you for everybody who always here with me. So I feel really I have a big, huge family. I have a family everywhere. Indonesia, India, Philippines, around the world. For sure, America, Canada, you name it. It's so beautiful to have you. It's an honor to know you. And I'm very thankful for the Lord to have you all around me. And I pray that always I will be able to teach as long I am alive. I pray that the Lord he will keep my voice able to talk. And my brain able to answer. And my spirit is strong by him. And the Lord, he said, if he is with you, who could be against you? The second you start fighting this cult, you will find a lot of forces all over you. They try to intimidate you. They try to threat you. They try to make you have fear and honest to the Lord. I have zero fear and nobody can intimidate me for a very simple reason. I'm a believer. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? The Bible is the book of wisdom. The Messiah, his mouth is the mouth of God who speaks nothing but the truth. Go and compare any speech the Messiah, he said, and open any speech of Allah and you will see that there is no way Allah can be even a close to be mentioned next to the Messiah. Amazing wisdom amazing strength, amazing confidence, amazing mercy, love. Everything about this name is amazing. And because of the amazing Messiah, we have amazing brothers and sisters. The Messiah, he make every one of you amazing. They think by violence they can scare us. Christianity is better Christianity when we are discriminated. Learn from the Roman. The Roman they used to feed us to the animals. And they thought by doing that they would stop Christianity. Learn from the Persian who came to Jerusalem and they burned Jerusalem, hoping that Christianity would disappear. Learn from Muhammad who he thought he erased Christianity and Christianity is gone. And now Christianity in the house of everyone in Saudi Arabia. And now we see preachers who they are Saudi. Preachers who they are coming to Christ from Saudi Arabia, from Kuwait, from Bahrain, from Qatar, from Emirates. Princes and princes, they are joining Christianity and converting. And soon, my friend, Indonesia, not only now more than 10% Christians, I say to you, 
I have a confidence that Indonesia is going to have 50 and 60 and 70 percent. Sooner or later, they will see the truth, and the truth will set them free. May the Lord bless you all with the Lord wisdom, who he said that not by the bread only a human he live, but by every word coming from the mouth of the Lord. I say to you, make the bread of your life and your confidence is the teaching of Christ, because without it, you are very easy to be targeted. You are very easy to be taken down. You are very easy to be weak. Confidence is very much important. But you cannot have that unless you know your book. So they cannot fool you. So I advise all the Christians, yes, it is good that we come here and we learn and we learn how to expose Islam. But it's very important to read the Bible and to study it. And to see even Muslims when they give you a question about the Bible, that should be encouraging to you to learn your book. It's going to be very bad if you are a Christian, but yet you cannot answer a simple question about your book very bad that's mean you are a christian by name don't forget my friend to read the book and our brother brother david he's saying christian prince you saved me i did not save you my friend the messiah he saved you i'm no one i saved nobody me myself i cannot save myself the messiah he saved me so david christian prince he did not a favor to you be thankful for the Lord, for the Lord, he used me to help you. The Lord, he is the one who saved you, my friend. There is only one Savior. His name is the Messiah. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And God bless you. Have a good day. Good evening.